house once belonged to a teenage girl, but she lost it 63 years ago at her elementary school outside Houston. All these many years later, the purse has been found by Armando Rodriguez, a contractor who was hired to renovate the school's gym. I was shocked to find a purse in there. He pulled it out of the floor. I wanted to find the owners, and I just, you know, it will be a wonderful feeling, that's what I thought. The purse was handed over to Richard Lewis of the local historical society. Inside, he discovered photos and other mementos. When the lost purse made local news, emails started pouring in. Then, Eureka. I think we have the person you're looking for. This is the information she sent me that solved it. Turns out the purse belonged to a 13-year-old girl, Andrea Beverly Williams. He pulled out old yearbooks, and there she was. Sadly, Beverly died in 2015. But she had nine children, and three daughters still live nearby. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, this is so typical of my mom, the rhinestones. They were amazed to see old photos of their mom's classmates and their grandfather. I've never seen that before. He, he passed before I was born. Yeah. There were all sorts of notes. This is to the Valentine's <laughs> Dan. It's, it's a little invitation. And after two months, we are still in love, love, <laughs> love. <laughs> a calendar gives a clue to when their mom lost it. April of 59 is when it got lost because everything else is clean. This Her is manicure kit. Manicure kit so she could stay posh. Yeah. 1959 was the height of the Cold War, and their mom carried a civil defense card. It's for nuclear war in case yeah. the Russians bombed us. She actually kept it in her purse. For daughters Deborah, Rhonda, and Andrea, it was like entering a time machine. It's such an unintentional time capsule of her. 